I think by focusing on um, what the consumer needs in the end to make the switch and then driving that back in um, uh, how to overcome certain perceptions. Uh, so from a liking point of view, but very mm -hmm. much also looking at what functionality do we need to build in applications. Um, and, and that can also be nutritional angles to it. Um, mm -hmm. For me, those will be the relevant items and that should drive yeah. the whole agenda forward, yeah. I think. Yeah, maybe I can give you a little bit of a European perspective. I think when you mm -hmm. look at what kind of consumers are we talking to, we are uh, people who want to have a flexitarian diet, um, vegan diets, vegetarian diets, very often are affluent, uh, well-educated people. And apart from uh, wanting to eat less or no animal food anymore, they are also very interested in other uh, topics like regional uh, food, mm -hmm. low processing, um, less ingredients. And I think that's an area where there's a lot of research needed to really conquer the European market because many products that we are um, having in the supermarkets now are really very globalized products with a lot, a lot, very long value chain, many ingredients. And I think this is a very important part to, con to convince consumers that uh, the food is um, also conforming to other values they have. Um, I also think it's very important that we um, create a perspective for European farmers. Because at the moment, a lot of the farm uh, farm organizations are really are, are op um, opposing uh, what the industry is doing because they don't see value added in the farm. Um, they say, okay, our industry, the new plant-based industry is taking value from the farm into the factory. So instead of eating meat or milk produced in farms, we are eating milk um, and dairy-free products or meat-free products made in factories. And they don't see a value in that. I think that's a mistake because I think there's lots of value for farmers are there, but I think we need to, a strategy to link what we do, uh, so what the consumers want, regional, local, low processed food with value chains to the farm. And we need investment in specific, uh, in, in specific topics like um, special crops, um, new crops, uh, value systems that involve farmers. I think that will be very, very important for also reaching consumers because European consumers are very attached to their farms and their farmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting communication, but also uh, get adoptance eh? um, and, and food technology. Um, Michel, could I move to you from the consumer side? What's your view? Sure. Well, it's been said before, eh? um, in line with the earlier mentioned obvious needs for the planet, we need to move to plant-based diets eh? and uh, Unilever's aim is for plant-based nutrition or diets to become maximally available for everyone. And I think there are three pillars that are really important there. Um, first and foremost, about cost. Uh, secondly, about taste. And thirdly, about nutrition. Uh, to start with the sensory bit, as Sonia already said, first and foremost, re research in this field needs to focus on taste and sensory. Uh, it seems like an obvious thing to do, but I don't think sensory is always seen as a serious academic topic on its own right yet. Um, changing behavior away from ingrained patterns is very, very difficult. And for, uh, for instance, new meat or new dairy taste is key to crack. And that's not only about governmental campaigns, because I think they have limited effectivity when they tend, they tend to point in different directions anyway. Uh, but the most powerful is to show actual improvement in sensory. Uh, so sensory is a high-tech area. I think that's key to, to unlock with lots of room for improvement. Maybe similar in complexity in many respects as making a good electrical car, I would say. So mm -hmm. I'd like to advocate my favorite slogans. Sensory is a serious science. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to the two other pillars, cost and nutrition, I think uh, there's an underlying agronomy question that's still not probably addressed. If you're a European livestock farm, you want to shift away from livestock and you want to grow plant protein, what do you go for? Uh, so what crops do you grow? How do you get into your diet in the most efficient and least processed manner? So in short, we need science to help uh, livestock farms to make the transition to plant-based. Uh, it's a complicated multidisciplinary field that needs multiple partners working together. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a need to focus on a large uh, plant protein nutritional quality characterization because we have a lot about, for example, uh, dairy proteins, uh, but uh, not enough uh, for plant-based proteins. So amino acid profile, digestibility, etc. 
uh, this information um, is less extended, less published as compared as animal sources. And um, also there is a need to um, for harmonization of the methodologies because, for example, we should develop in vitro methodologies to do these analyses. And, uh, and we need to have a standardization uh, to do it on similar sources or on different sources or on similar, for example, uh, isolates of protein or uh, concentrates of protein and to have uh, a classification uh, accessible and um, made, uh, made public. We could also, through this type of analysis, uh, explore more the complementarity of proteins, of fibers, uh, we should also identify more for the taste and for the nutritional quality, the anti-nutritional factors and more generally better understand um, the, 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 the different uh, constituents of plants uh, that we have to, to process also to, to manufacture ingredients. So there, there are gaps to be filled to also better understand physiology, synergies, and um, and uh, yes, you mentioned the work on the taste. Uh, there is no nutrition without a good taste, and this is a, a type of new gastronomy to be developed to, mm -hmm. to overcome limitations. And finally, I would mention that uh, there is uh, also um, a study to be done on the real impact on the nutritional quality of the processes, but also in a positive way, because as uh, it was also uh, said, uh, if we want uh, diverse, diversify and uh, offer uh, a more rich uh, possibilities to, to consumers, uh, we have also to, to, to show that we could use a lot of different ingredients uh, that could be uh, good for nutrition, good for health and good for taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I if I would kind of summarize, and I'd like to pick your brains if it's a good summary or not. What I what I the question was, what are the specific research needs? What I th those needs are um, in a certain way, I think well defined. But what Michelle was doing, and, and I think you in a certain way as well, Catherine, saying well, it's also a new research science fields that need to be integrated into this approach, and to be connected to it. And um, that's an integrated kind of research strategy on the needs and on the science fields, right? And what I heard from uh, Matthias, he said, well, you know, traditionally, uh, maybe there's a research uh, domain, but you need to link it to the business uh, and connect really the, the farmers with the green companies, with the food, and, and, and make a business uh, case as well to grow all those crops, because if you don't do that, then Harmonization doesn't make sense. Uh, monetization yes. doesn't make sense. Do, do, do you agree, uh, Matthias, with that? Oh, yes, sorry. I think that, that's correct. And there's also, um, you know, one the problem is the plants that we are using for food are mostly um, um, kind of arbitrary. They're not made for the topics that we need, for the for the products, mm -hmm. that, for the applications that we need. You know, all the plants that we consume have been made by humans for specific topics. When you look at the plants that we have today, many have been bred, bred for, for feed purposes. So mm -hmm. there's a big, um, big possibility to cut out processing, shorten production lines and uh, reduce um, processing um, needs when you have the right plants. And this needs a new approach because we are all used to work with commodities. So mm -hmm. Big national companies, they are buying commodities. And, and when we are talking about specific plants, that's, that's a different approach needed to integrate value chains with farmers. And that's a big mm -hmm. challenge for everybody. And I think a big topic for discussion and also for research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so you also add the, the new word to it, right? A new re, re look at things to really advance and to scale. Yeah, it's it's integrate, in integrating breeding and processing is a very promising mm -hmm. field. Activity and research yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I think Roquette knows a lot about that. 